So I'm to the very last part of the quilting on the peacock quilt. So it's in the very, very center. So you can see, I didn't show you this. I did show you the quilting on the feathers. I did not show you the quilting just on the body. So I just used one of my teal polyester threads and did that kind of a, I don't know, some people call it flames. Sometimes it looks like wood grain. I just thought it worked nicely to accent the peacock itself. I will take yellow and probably outline here it is, his little plume here. I haven't done that yet, but I'm working on the whole background. Now, the cool thing about this whole background is all the fabulous colors that Sue uses in her designs and the stencils and stuff, but it's so many different colors. I didn't want to just use one color. So for instance, down here in this section, I did the swirls with points. That's what I call them. I don't know what they're officially called, but in Nancy terms, these are swirls with points. Up around in here, I plan to use, oops, I got a little blur. There we go. I plan to use some green thread because I don't want the colors to really stand out. So here I'm using the pink thread that I've been using throughout. Now, the cool thing about using all these different colors and that the colors are not going to stand out is that it looks really great on the fabric. The bad thing is it doesn't make for great video because if the colors are the same, you're not really going to see what I'm quilting. So I've gotten to a section here that's a little bit blue and yellow, and I'm going to use this um, pink on this part. So I'm hoping that you will be able to see what I've quilted. I want you to notice one thing, though. Do you see how puffy this is? When I get done quilting it, it will be perfectly flat, just like the rest of the quilt. And to achieve that, you need to do some pretty tight quilting. So this quilting space between these kind of two lines is a quarter of an inch, rarely any more than that. By doing that, you flatten down the background, and that's what I want to achieve. I want the feathers of the peacock to kind of puff up a little bit. I want the applique feathers here to puff up a little bit, the feathers that I did in the borders. But this I want it to be smushed down. To achieve this, you do want to, I don't use anything except the sort quick. So I use sort quick on my hands. This is going to give my hands a little bit of a stick. You could use gloves. I'm just not a huge fan of wearing the gloves. You'll notice that many times throughout this, I had used my Martelli paddles. I really like the Martelli paddles, but for something like this, I need to be sure that this stays flat. So my hands are going to be working extra hard, pushing this out, making sure that this all comes flat so that I don't get any puckers. And I will not get any puckers. I had somebody question me the other day about why I quilt all on the outside and then to the inside. That's how I work. I have always done stabilizing lines. So I talked to you about that, the straight lines that I did throughout on the borders. And then I start generally working from the outside to the inside. That way I know that my quilt will stay square. The outside lines are going to stay straight. Then I work into the middle. Quilts are supposed to be puffy and textured. In this case, yeah, they're puffy now, but it's not going to be. It will be all flat. So I'm going to start this design now. So again, this is kind of what I call swirls with points. Now what I love about them is that you can go anywhere and do anything. So I just did that little guy just to get myself comfortable going. Now I'm going to work into a swirl. So coming down here, I like going into the points and coming out with a swirl. And then you can use that points to kind of, you know, I don't know, fill in spots like right here. I can fill in that little spot. Let me see if I can move the camera just a smidge and get a little bit closer. All right, let's try that. You can move my light. All right, there. So I can fill in those spots. So like right here where these two um, curves come together, I'm going to go bop into those little curves and then come out with something else. But I love that where it fills that space. Whereas if I just did a swirl, I would end up kind of with a triangle of space, not quilted. Not my favorite thing. Might be your favorite thing, in which case do it. Um, but I like to fill in those spots. So here's another swirl with a point come down and echo those points that I've already made and then come back around. You can also do things that are, I don't know, I heard somebody once call them combs. So the idea of on top of that swirl, I'm just adding points 
So maybe they refer to that like comb, like for a um, rooster with his coxcomb. So you can see that that's created some texture. Then I can come back around, fill in more points, do some swirls right here next to the peacock, work my way all the way up his neck. One thing you do want to do is be sure that your swirls don't always go in the exact same direction. It just kind of creates stagnant, I guess, on the background. And I want this to have a lot of variety. So I'll have my swirls go in one direction one time, then go in another direction another time. So I'm never quite sure. I just know that sometimes I'll look and I'll go, wait a minute, I've made all my swirls go to the right instead of to the left. I also love this kind of swirls with points because like here, I'm going to go all the way back up to the corner just by bopping into all of those little indents. Go around to this one and come on back that way because I have a hard time seeing behind me. This way, I'll have everything in front of me that I'm going to quilt. So now I can come back down with some swirls with points to fill in this area. So that's how I like to work. Doing swirls with points is seriously one of my favorite quilting designs. I find it very relaxing, and it really goes pretty quick, too. Once you get to working on it and you get your space all settled, I think it goes pretty fast, and I love the effect that it gives. So that is the peacock completely quilted. I will show you an overview in the very next segment.